setting aside the third secret. The third part of the Fatima message that was supposed to be kept secret until 1960 came to be known as the third secret. When the time arrived, 1960, Pope John XXIII did not reveal it. Why? He had his reasons. Some of the cardinals and theologians who had read the text revealed that it forewarned of a revolution coming from the upper echelons of the church hierarchy. This revolution would obliterate the Catholic faith. For example, Cardinal Mario Luigi Chiapi wrote, In the third secret it is foretold, among other things, that the great apostasy in the church will begin at the top. Cardinal Silvio Oddi wrote on the same subject, According to the most probable interpretation, the third secret, which John XXIII did not consider opportune to reveal, is not about the conversion of Russia, still far from occurring, but, the revolution in the Catholic Church. What was this revolution in the 1960s that would have warranted a warning from Our Lady? Certainly, it was Vatican Council II. This is not just my opinion. Many of the progressivists themselves call the Council a Copernican revolution. In fact it caused a complete change in the Catholic Church and the Catholic faith. Therefore, it makes full sense that Our Lady would warn the faithful not to accept the errors that would issue from Vatican II. Progressivism, however, pays no mind to the message of Fatima. Its thinkers consider Fatima to be nothing more than the product of a primitive collective imagination. This negative view was clearly expressed by progressivist Cardinal Yves Congar when he wrote about the role of recent prophecies in the Church, supported by fervor, as well as by fanaticism, and exploiting human hope. The imagination constructed its utopias and created a way to escape fears, hatreds, and political options. From this, stories were born about the Antichrist, a chastisement and the devastation of Rome, or, in a contrary sense, stories about an angelical pope, the holy land, the end times, etc. Our epoch still resounds with echoes of these ideas. Once again there is talk about the prophecy of Malachi, Nostradamus, and the third secret of Fatima assembling blue armies. Hans Kung, also wrote against Fatima. Here, in one of his many texts, he accused Lucia, Francisco, and Jacinta, as well as Catholics who believe in Fatima, of being Montanists and Joaquinists, two different heresies of the past about the end times. As in Montanism, some post trenciers became known for their apocalyptical ideas, prophecies of an approaching end times, a great war, a terrible catastrophe or the conversion of Russia. Their devotees were at the same time terrified and fascinated, and this is one of the reasons for their astonishing success. As in Montanism, the post trenciers also presented rigorous moral demands, condemnation of the world and a call for extraordinary acts of mortification to avoid chastisements. As in Joaquinism, one finds a mystical interpretation of numbers and related calculations. Important events have taken place on the thirteenth day of the month. As in Joaquinism, it has been considered necessary to make new associations to spread ideas according to which some particular form of piety, an image, devotion, or a medal, is considered as important as the word of God witnessed in scriptures. It seems that this skeptical and scornful progressivist view of Fatima was shared by John XXIII. It would explain why he avoided revealing the message of Our Lady in 1960, and pushed forward the plan for a council. In any case, the fact is that John XXIII put aside the third secret. This was equivalent to saying, I don't care about such a prophecy. Instead, I will make the council it wants to avert. Indisputably, a bold challenge to Our Lady. The new interpretation by Ratzinger and Sordano was an attempt to bury the Fatima message. Such audacity on the part of John XXIII was followed in 2000 by the joint initiative of Cardinal Angelo Sordano and Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, who tried to definitely silence any remaining expectations about the third secret, as well as the traditional interpretations of the already known parts of the message. No more apostasy of the Catholic faith coming from the top, no more revolution in the church, no more conversion of Russia, no more chastisement coming from heaven, no more disappearance of many nations, no more reign of the Immaculate Heart of Mary.
All these predictions were sentenced to silence and death. An incomplete new text with vague and enigmatic symbols was released and imposed by Sordano and Ratzinger as a final and definitive revelation. Again, another audacious step in the progressivist challenge to Our Lady, and an attempt to destroy the warning she came to give to the Catholic faithful to avoid the present-day religious crisis. This text was written by Attila Sinki Gamores, and published by Tradition in Action. The Fatima progressives have done everything in their power to undermine and dismiss the Fatima apparitions. They have ridiculed Lucy and her cousins, the Third Secret, and the faithful Catholics devoted to Our Lady of Fatima. Now the progressives have gone into cover-up mode because of all the information and forensic reports coming from Sister Lucy Truth. It's only a matter of time until the Fatima investigation breaks upon the whole world. Our Lady of Fatima, pray for us.